Let's take a look at how to create game passes and prompt purchases using the marketplace service to players in your game. Make sure your game is saved to Roblox and then we can head over to the creator page to look at our game. And then on the creator hub, once you've found your game, my game is just called Game Pass Demonstration and you select it, you're gonna be on the overview tab and you can head down to monetization and find the passes section. And there will be a button likely in the center to create a new game pass. I created an example game pass over here, but you would hit create a pass, enter in the name, the description, upload an image you want, and then create the pass. And then after you create your game pass, you can select it, head over to sales, and then tick item for sale to make it for sale. And then you can set your price. And then once you're done doing that, you can go ahead and hit the three dots and copy the asset ID for the game pass. We're going to need that in our game. Now back in studio, I'm just going to create a simple text button on the screen that says something like buy game pass or whatever, just for demonstration purposes. I'll create a new screen GUI. I'll slap a text button inside of it. I'll just put it in the center of the screen or something like that. Okay, and then I'll create a local script inside of my screen GUI. And then I'll make a reference to my GUI script.parent and then I'll get my button. So that's GUI.text button. And what we want to do is when our text button is activated, we want to go ahead and prompt our player to purchase that game pass we just created. So we're going to need something called the marketplace service. That's equal to game and get service marketplace service. And then I'm also going to create a variable that's going to store the ID of our game pass. So I'll just call this game pass ID, and that's equal to the number that we've copied. And then when our button gets activated, we can go ahead and use the marketplace service and use a function inside of this service to prompt a game pass purchase to our player. So we need to pass a player instance and the ID for the game pass. So let's go ahead and also grab the player service. And then we can go ahead and refer to the local player and the game pass we want to prompt them is going to be the one stored in our game pass ID variable. So now if we go and play test our game and we hit our button, what you're going to notice is that it's going to say error. You already own this item. Your account has not been charged. So we know it's working at least, but by default, since you're the owner of the game, you're going to already own the game pass. So if you want to be able to test to see if you're able to purchase it properly, then we're going to have to open up a one player server and do it that way. Now, we also want to be able to check on the server whether or not a player joins our game has a certain game pass. And if they do, we give them particular benefits. And we also need to check on the server if any player inside of the game purchases a game pass while they're inside of the game. That way we can update the game pass or give players different abilities dynamically when they purchase a new game pass. So let's go ahead and create a new script inside of server script service. And again, we're going to need the marketplace service. So I'll just grab that. And then let's also grab the player service. And inside of the marketplace service, there's an event inside of here called prompt game pass purchase finish. And it says fires when a purchase prompt for a pass is closed. So this is going to fire if a player cancels, doesn't want to buy it, or if the player actually successfully purchases it. So if we connect a function to this event, it's going to tell us the player, the ID that the player was prompted with, and then if they actually purchased it. So we can go ahead and autofill that. And what we can basically do here is we can check if the player purchased this game pass. And if they did purchase the game pass, then a way that we could keep track of the different game passes that players own, basically cache it inside of the server, is we could set an attribute on them to true and have the string of that attribute be equal to the ID of the game pass. So on this player, we can set an attribute and just use the game pass ID as the name or the identifier for the attribute and just set the value to true. So now we know that this particular player owns this particular game pass with this ID. And this allows us to check it for multiple different uh, scripts. So we can just grab the attribute on the player, see if they have this particular ID. And if they do, they own the game pass. So great, we can give them some sort of benefit. We also wanna be able to check when a player joins our game if they own a particular game pass. So we can listen to the player added event and when a player joins into our game, let's go ahead and get that player. 
we want to use another function in the marketplace service and this function is called user owns game pass async and it says returns true if the player with the given user id owns the pass with the given game pass id so this is going to check with Roblox servers going to check to see if this player owns this game pass and it's going to return a boolean. Now, because this is an asynchronous function, we're going to have to use pcall on it because there may be a chance that this function errors. So let's go ahead and wrap it inside of a pcall. And then let's just return the result from this function call and we need to pass the user ID. So that's going to be our player's user ID. And then we need to pass the game pass ID this is going to be this game pass ID right here. So I'm just going to copy it and move it over here. If you would like to only have one script store these IDs so you don't have to place them in multiple different scripts, then that's what you would use a module script for. You could have a module script that stores maybe all of the game passes for your game. So that way your server script and your local script can both access it at the same time. But I'm just going to do it this way because it's fast and easy. And then let's go ahead and pass this game pass ID. And then we can go ahead and check to see if this P call was successful in executing. And then the result returned from the P call, which should be the result from this function. So if this P call was successful and we got a positive result, meaning the player owns the game pass, then we can go ahead and basically do what we did right here. We'll just copy this, paste this here. And then let me replace this with the game pass ID. All right, and perfect. So now if we go and play test our game, and if we go check our player instance inside of the player's service, you're going to see that, hey, look, I have that attribute with the game pass ID, and it's set to true, meaning that I own the game pass. And if I click the button, obviously I can't buy it because I already own it. So let's go ahead and try out purchasing it through a one player server. All right, I am in my one player server as this player one, so I shouldn't own any game passes. And if I go ahead and hit the button, we get an error. Third party sales, item sales have been disabled for this place. Your account has not been charged. That's an interesting error because this shouldn't be a third party item. It's an item that I made for my game. That's weird, but should be easy to fix. All we need to do is just open up um, game settings and then head over to security and enable allow third party sales. So hopefully this should allow us to try that again. Okay. This time, if I go and hit my button, hopefully there we go. Would you like to buy example game pass? Since we're play testing in studio, it says this is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged, but if we go ahead and buy it, Hopefully, there we go. Your purchase of the Game Pass succeeded. And then let's go ahead and check to see if I have that attribute. Boom, look at that. We got the attribute set on me stating that I own the Game Pass. Very cool. And from this point, it's really up to you what you want your Game Passes to do. I've just given you a basic template of how you can check to see if a player who joins your game has a Game Pass or listen for when a player purchases a game pass while they're playing in the game. And then from that point, you can implement whatever kind of system you want, whatever benefits you wanna give the player for a particular game pass. Other than that, this was just a brief overview of how to create game passes and prompt them to players using the Marketplace service. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.